Photography is devoid of emotion, of connection. Yet, the modern sexologists of today would tell us differently. And so I'm going to spend over half the time, about half the time, a little over, talking about the problem. And not just the problem of addiction. And I'm going to talk about some of the biological considerations. But those who are charged by society with being the experts, the sexologists, the ones to whom the press go and say, what is this? Many of whom say, it's normal, it's healthy, it's fine. Where did this come from? This is part of the problem. It's understanding how did we get here. And so I'm going to talk a little about that. For instance, David Lay wrote a book called The Myth of Sexual Addiction, and he said that, sec that pornography provides a legal outlet for illegal sexual behaviors or desires, and its consumption or availability has been associated with a decrease in sex offenses, especially child molestation. We're going to talk about that a little later. That's false. That's not true. It's based on faulty government data, and that's been shown in a recent paper by Young in the Iowa Law Review. But this is what the sexologists will say based on correlate, correlative studies over the last three decades. And, and so he goes on, we need better methods to help people who struggle with high frequency use of, note, visual sexual stimuli without pathologizing them or the use thereof. They don't call it pornography. They want to get away from the word. It's called VSS, visual sexual stimuli. It's healthy. In the recent paper, uh, the Emperor's New Clothes, Lay and Prowse and others said that actually it's good for teenagers because it teaches them different varieties of sexual behaviors, different forms of intercourse and non-intercourse sexuality that's healthy for teenagers to explore themselves early. This is what the modern sexologists of today are saying. For instance, this paper was published in Socioaffective Neuroscience by the SPAN lab at UCLA. And they basically said, there's no such thing as addiction. Some people are just born with high sexual desire. If you happen to be a man that likes to sleep with uh, prostitutes and watch porn all day, then that's just the way you're born, and you shouldn't try to change. And your family just needs to get over it. It sounds crazy, but it's true. And that's really what they say. I actually wrote a peer-reviewed rebuttal to this in that journal and, um, and challenged that, that premise. <laughs>